Welcome to our video on vocabulary in your EMI course, focusing on the types of words that your students will encounter in your class. There are three main types. First, technical to the course content. Second, academic. And third, general. So first, technical to the course content. This means words that have specific meanings in your course area. Examples include automatize for linguistics, gross domestic product for economics, or casting for mechanical engineering. These are the most commonly explained or defined words during a lecture. Second, academic words are ones that are common for higher education, but not specific to your content area. Examples include estimate, interpret, or principle. And general vocabulary words are ones that are common across all types of communication. Examples include by, cause, or whether. These categories are not strict, meaning a word might seem like it could be in two categories. This is not a problem, though, since it isn't important which word is exactly in what category. Rather, it is useful to realize that students might struggle with any one of these areas with English words, and you as an EMI instructor should be prepared to support students as they learn content in English and encounter words that might be very technical to your field, more generally academic in nature, or general words known by English speakers in general. Another useful consideration is that some words are more concrete while other words are more abstract. Nouns can be concrete, even for technical terms, such as the names of bones in the body or chemical compounds. Or nouns can be abstract, such as those that come from theoretical ideas or from concepts. Consider the word stress, for example, or pessimism. These words are more abstract. When you're teaching in an EMI course, remember that students will often have a harder time with abstract words in English, meaning you'll need to stop and explain those more, or avoid them if possible, and use more concrete terms or explanations. And finally, about word meanings, keep in mind that many words have a general English meaning and a specific meaning in your field. For example, the word significant to most people means something that is important. But in statistics, significant has a specific meaning related to the probability of a result. In your field, maybe you can think of words that students might know for their general meaning, but you need to help them with for the specific meaning. So we'll conclude this video with a quote. It's from a participant in a research study about teaching EMI courses. She's from Japan and says, in order to have students understand the course content, I think it, or vocabulary, is very important. Yes, vocabulary is important. If your students don't understand the words in your class, they will not be able to learn your content. Thanks for watching.